All right, everybody, my next guest is a very funny comedian and actor whose new television show, Slacker Cats, premieres August 13th on ABC Family. Please welcome Harlan Williams. <laughs> Congratulations, you have a, this is exciting, you have a new TV show. Yeah, yeah, it's a cartoon, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, settle down there. <laughs> settle down there. Uh, it's cartoon, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Do you, are you a fan of television? Do you like to watch television a lot? I should, I'm on it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been watching that show to catch a predator. Have you seen this freaky show? Yeah, I think a lot of people are riveted by that show. Yeah, it's, it's freaky. These perverts come to the house and that weird uh, giant comes around the curtain and he's just a tall man he's not a giant chris williams well he chris is if you're too. an elf <laughs> all right good uh, point the guy walks around the curtain and he's like uh what are you doing here <laughs> what's in the bag <laughs> and i'm like if this guy wants to catch a predator i love it if one time he came around the curtain and there really was a predator there like a full-grown african lion <laughs> He comes around the curtain, he's like, what are you doing here? And it's like, <laughs> Rips him apart, yeah. I guess I picked the wrong day to wear stripes. <laughs> You're a strange man. <laughs> Don't point that thing at me. Now, are you enjoying the summer so far? Are you having a good time? A lot of people like oh, summer, Harlan. Oh, God, I don't like the summer, man. It you reeks. Don't. No, I don't, I don't like it. I have bad memories, man. When bad I... memories from the summer? Was it from your childhood? Well, yeah, my dad, when I was a kid, when I was eight years old, my old man used to wait till it got dark, and then he'd uh, dress me up in a Tinkerbell costume <laughs> and make me run into my neighbor's bug light. <laughs> You had to run into a bug zapper dressed as Tinkerbell. Yeah, man. I well, stunk. My curly shoes got scorched and everything. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, and you weren't hurt, though, I hope. Well, I got scorched and all the lights went out in our neighborhood. <laughs> well, what else uh, didn't you like about summer? I don't like skunks. You ever uh, see a skunk in your neighborhood? Uh, I don't see them, okay, you know, not really. I don't think there are a lot of skunks around here in New York City. No. Well, my place there is, man. I got attacked by a skunk, man. What? <laughs> well, what sucks is any other animal that attacks you, they bite you with their teeth or they claw you, but, you know, this thing came out and shot ass sauce all over me. <laughs> It just, like, lifted its tail. Suddenly, I'm standing there covered in ass Gatorade, man. <laughs> so you would prefer you would prefer the teeth or the claws? Yeah, I'd rather get mauled by a cougar than get coated in ass sauce. All right, stop. <laughs> stop saying that. <laughs> For God's sakes, man. Imagine so if one of the Ricolo guys said it. Ass sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I imagining that? Is it, uh, is it, uh, well, there's that cure that you can, if you get coated, you know, there's that old wives' tale that you can uh, oh. sit in tomato juice, you right? sit in the tomato juice in the bathtub. I didn't have any, so I had to soak in Newman's own lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I, as good, yeah. I, I smelled very citrusy, and All I was right. attacked by hummingbirds. Uh, <laughs> good Lord. Uh, <laughs> Now, Harlan, you have an active imagination. Every time you're here, I'm, you, 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 you see things with your mind others don't see. Any inventions pop up recently? Because in the past, you've talked to me about, you've had ideas for inventions, you know, new ideas, concepts, anything new? I did come up with one thing that I'm really excited about. Okay, lay it on me. Well, it's not a blanket. <laughs> Do you like fudge? Yeah. What's happening? Well, this is my invention. Oh, you're you an invention. Me. I thought you yeah. had just, yeah. Oh. After the blanket thing, I thought the well, computer yes. had gone dead and we were rebooting. <laughs> I really thought the lights had gone out and we were waiting for it to come back on. Well, you, you said lay it on me. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I'm with you. Want you want me to tuck you in over here? All right, no, now settle down there, Chaco. Now, uh... <laughs> So what's the, I like fudge. Yes, I, I, I like fudge, sure. All right, well, let's see. say it again. Let's hear how you say it. Fudge. Okay, well, here's the new thing I came up with. There's a new way that I invented you can say fudge. 
what you do is you lower your register and you take a deep breath and you go, fudge. This is your invention. Yeah, I came up with that. That someone should just say, fudge. Yeah, and if you stutter, you can go, F -f 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 fudge. Okay, where did that idea come from? Well, it's an invention like Google or the light bulb. <laughs> I came up with fudge. And if you know anyone named Gary, you can go, Gary. <laughs> your love life, Harlan? <laughs> Any ladies in your life? You know, that's a problem, too. You ever make love to a woman so fast an airbag pops out of her face? <laughs> that scared the hell out of me, man. I got a hairy girlfriend. What? She's hairy. What are you talking about now? I got a hairy girlfriend. You ever... like, I feel like I'm in an old vaudeville act. <laughs> I'm not How kidding. hairy is she, Harlan? Well, she's so hairy, she's got a ring of hair around her nipples. What? You ever have to kiss one of those? It's like making out with one of Dr. Seuss's Loraxes. <laughs> no, get this. She, she told me she wants to get a Brazilian, right? And I said, baby, I ain't never been to Brazil, so we compromised, and she, uh, she got a mullet. Now we do a doggy style. What? Like I'm looking down at my buddy Larry All in the right, room. You settle down. Sometimes I put a baseball hat on her ass and talk about hockey All while right, we're getting right. it What are you, a supermodel now? This is. This isn't the catwalk. I'm taking a little walk to smooth things over. We are out of time. Well, you should always... I'm worried about your stars there, buddy. The stars on the set? Well, you know, they say someday we're going to have an invasion, and they say that sound travels through the endless realms of space, and I don't know if you ever did a friendly call-out to let space visitors know that you're a friend. <laughs> I'm calling security right now. You're gonna call your ass out of here. Wait, I wanna do a friendly space call for right, you. Let's so hear it. Let's go. Schlarkty, flarkty, schlarkty, darkty, schlarkty, darkty, fudge. <laughs> I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> Slacker Cats premieres August 13th at 10 o'clock p.m. on ABC Family. I'm sure it will bear no resemblance to what we saw here tonight. You can hear Harlan's radio show weekdays on the Fox.com or 103.5 FM in Denver. The Harlan Highway. Good Lord. I, you, you, it's always an experience. Thank you, Harlan Williams, we'll be right back. Mavis Stables is here.